Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brendan, and allow me to introduce you all to Dooploploop, the lord of all dittos. As for what makes this ditto so great, there's one little reason. Or should I say, six little reasons. That's right, Dooploploop has six perfect IVs, a perfectly natural, perfectly flawless six stat ditto. This is, I would imagine, one of the rarest Pokemon possible at least on par if not surpassing the average everyday shiny. After all, shinies are pretty common nowadays. I literally had 5 on my team when I fought the Elite 4 in this game, and I had more in my box. It's also a Pokemon I've wanted to find for almost a decade. I spent the summer before Pokemon Black and White came out just catching tons of ditto on Emerald in the vain hopes of finding one with full perfect IVs. You can imagine how that ended. But now I've finally gotten not one, but two thanks to Let's Go, and I thought I'd show off the method in case any of you happen to want to catch an amazing little egg making machine yourself. Before we dive in, I just want to say that I didn't come up with all of this on my own. When I learned the way catch combos work and how they can affect the IVs of your Pokemon, I started wondering if it'd be possible to find a perfect ditto, and decided to do a little search to see if anyone else had managed it. Lo and behold, it was possible. It turns out I'm a little bit late to the party, but while others have covered this, I wanted to talk about it myself, and gave a full in-depth explanation, as well as my thoughts on the whole process. Also, I just thought this was cool and wanted to show it to you guys, just in case any of you hadn't heard and were interested in nabbing one yourself. So let's briefly go over the requirements for this. First and most obviously, you need to reach the Cinnabar Pokemon Mansion to find dittos. You could also technically catch them in Cerulean Cave, but the bottom floor of the Pokemon Mansion has slightly better odds, and the levels of the ditto will vary between the two, causing a difference between the CP for a Pokemon located there and one in the mansion. Since I only know the CP necessary for the mansion, that's what we'll be using here. Also, you're going to want a lot of Ultra Balls and Lures, as well as some Berries. If you're like me and super paranoid of the perfect ditto running away when you find it, you can also use your Master Ball if you still have it, but that's not a requirement. If you run out of items while hunting, you can go pick up more and come back as long as you don't break your combo. But it doesn't hurt to bring a bunch with you the first time. You'll also need to talk to Oak's aid and unlock the IV checker in the gate between routes 11 and 12. He requires that you catch 30 Pokemon before he'll unlock the feature for you, but that shouldn't be too hard to fulfill. Obviously, this is how we're going to check the stats of the dittos. Now, with all your preparations complete, you're going to want to head to the Cinnabar Pokemon Mansion's bottom floor. I'd recommend saving your game just in case something goes wrong and you waste a lot of Pokeballs or lures, you can reset and get them back. Once you're ready, wait for a ditto to spawn and catch it. Continue catching ditto without letting them run away or catching a different Pokemon to build up your catch combo. As a reminder, encountering a different Pokemon won't break your combo, only catching it will, so don't worry about bumping into the other Pokemon wandering around. Keep catching Ditto until you reach a catch combo of 31. Beyond a catch combo of 31, Ditto will start coming with 4 perfect IVs guaranteed. This means we're only looking for the game to randomly generate the last 2 as perfect. It's still super unlikely to happen, but it's much better odds than waiting for all 6 to randomly appear in Emerald. Young me was quite hopeful. What the heck happened? While technically this was also possible in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire or Sun and Moon thanks to the deck snap chaining and SOS chaining, both had some issues that made it rather unreliable. The deck snap capped out at forcing a maximum of 3 IVs to be perfect, the rest was all up to luck. The third IV makes it a lot less likely to find a perfect ditto. Meanwhile, SOS chaining caps at 4 like Let's Go, but you need to catch the Pokemon to check its IVs and catching a Pokemon ends the battle, and thus the chain. So for each ditto you try and check, you'd need to start a new chain of 31, which is super inefficient. In Let's Go, however, a Pokemon's CP or combat points are displayed when encountering a Pokemon. This gives an idea of the Pokemon's strength. Also important is the fact that running from a battle doesn't ruin your catch combo. This means you can encounter a ditto, quickly view its CP, and if it's not high enough to have a chance of being perfect, run away. In addition, with a lure activated, the ditto will always be level 45, making it a lot easier to tell at a glance if its CP is right, since there's no variation in levels to account for, mostly boiling down to just the IVs. 
nature can also cause some deviation in CP, but both the person I read about this from and the first one I caught myself found ours with a CP of 1150, which gives an idea of what to shoot for. That one I caught was also bold nature, so if you use a nature changer in Celadon City to set yours to bold too, that should alleviate any potential problems. The second one I found on my second playthrough I did in French had a CP of 1152 though. You may also encounter shinies while doing this. You can catch them if you want, but bear in mind if it isn't a ditto and you catch it, it will reset your catch combo, so you'll have to redo the process. Personally, the first time I did this, I only encountered a single shiny, and it was a ditto. Unfortunately, it ran away, so it reset my combo anyway. Aww. If your chain does break, though, it's not too difficult to rebuild it, just kind of time consuming. One benefit, though, is that as you catch more ditto, they'll get easier to catch, so that's a nice perk if you do happen to need multiple chains. Anyway, with all that in mind, just get the chain up to 31 to get all four guaranteed IVs. Then just keep a lure up and encounter every ditto that spawns. If it doesn't have a high CP, run away and repeat. As a reminder, the magic number here seems to be anything over 1150, but if you want to be super safe, you could grab anything over 1140. Doing this will also give you lots of good ones that will be 4 to 5 stats. That way, just in case you end up abandoning the hunt, you still have something to show for it. This is where the real grind sets in, and will likely take hours to days. If you need to take breaks, just put your switch in sleep mode. Sleep mode is fine, but fully closing the game on the switch's main menu will break your combo even if you saved, so just be aware of that. Once the magic perfect ditto appears, all that's left is to catch it. Like I said, if you have the master ball and are worried about it running, now's the time to use it. Voila, just check its stats and marvel at its beauty. Flawless! This is true beauty! Now, is this worth all the trouble? Realistically, no. No, it isn't. First of all, we don't even know for sure if Pokemon from Let's Go will be able to transfer to Gen 8. And breeding doesn't exist in these games, so at the moment it's mostly just a novelty with no real practical application. Second, Hyper Training exists as an alternative for getting your Pokemon stats maximized. With that said, it requires the Pokemon to be level 100, so that's not always practical, but it is an option to consider. Finally, it's much easier to just get two four stat ditto that cover all the stats between them from Sun and Moon's SOS chaining, or even from here, and just swap them in and out to breed the stats down. Heck, you could even just hack in a perfect ditto. You know, if you're lame. I personally don't use tacked mons, even just for breeding, so eh. Anyway, compared to that, spending hours upon hours to even days just praying to the RNG gods isn't practical for most people. I got really lucky and caught both mine with only about a day's worth of on and off searching, but naturally it could take much, much longer. Still, I think it's really cool that it's finally a thing that one can realistically do. If you're like me and spend a lot of time hatching eggs for perfect mons, or just really like ditto, this method is available. And I liked it so much I did it twice. You already met Dooplabloop, now meet Dooplabloop Doo, the ultimate shiny breeding ditto. <sighs> I just hope we have a way to transfer these guys to Gen 8. Until next time trainers, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out.